Hello and welcome to another episode of Genuine Healing Down Under with your hosts, me, Marvin Schneider. And me, Jen Ward. Hi, everybody. Happy New Year, Jen, and Happy Happy New New Year Year. to all the listeners. Happy New Year to everyone. This is a great year, babies. It is, um, and that'll be the last time we will say Happy New Year because as much as it is a tradition to say Happy New Year, in fact, the idea of regulating your life in you know linear moments and marking time in this way is well it's not the most empowering thing to do so um happy new year and then we'll move on absolutely good point baby so we're here to jumpstart people's consciousness out of the mundane absolutely use this though as a portal to kickstart and leapfrog your empowerment heal your body, mind, and soul. And so that is both in the physical, that's the body, the mind and the soul is at the more, you know, higher level, which is what we're here to do. Yes. People get tripped up on the emotions and the the mind stuff. And so those are the one couple things that they can really do something about. Mm. And it is our actual new year as we record this because obviously we're in the southern hemisphere (laughs) in australia uh, if you haven't kind of worked that out yet and uh those that are in the northern hemisphere will be coming into their new year's well it will be their new year's eve and some people will be counting down the moment of the new year we didn't we actually went to bed at 2 p.m on our New Year's Eve for a particular reason. Not that we're all, uh, what do you call it? Not humbugs, but, you know, um, it's not that. Babies, tell people the particular reason because they know we're newlyweds, so don't let them hang in (laughs) the particular reason. Goodness me, we've almost been married for two years. We're not quite newlyweds anymore. (laughs) Um, Well, babies, I'm going to hang on to that as long as I got. (laughs) Fair enough. The particular reason was that we recorded our very transformative masterclass event. We call it Stop Habitually Reincarnating. It was a three hour, well, it was it was programmed to be a three hour event. It ended up being about three and a half hours. There's never enough time, Jen, as much as we Mm -hmm. allocate time and have a very structured agenda and a workshop flow. There's just so much to get through well in energy there's an actual i need to each individual who comes on i need to crack open their ego which is preventing them from from going further so with each individual when we did the individual session i had to crack open each consciousness wasn't that kind of beautiful to watch each person um pop open 100 percent um There were some real visceral moments, um, very transformative moments for everyone on participating on the Zoom call live in the event. I'm, by the way, we ran that event uh, very early in our morning. And so on our New Year's Eve morning. And so that is, in fact, the reason that we went to bed (laughs) at 2 p.m. And the interesting thing and therefore didn't um, see the actual New Year in uh, because as an idea, that's just such a snooze anyway. But the interesting thing is that where we live, we didn't hear any fireworks, no firecrackers, no no loud parties, nothing. It was all, it, it really was as if our whole community was just engaged in the more um, thoughtful approach to making every day and every moment a well we deal with every moment in the same reverence that some people deal with this magical new year yeah so personally i hate i hate fireworks i think they're awful for the environment i think they're awful for the wildlife i think they propagate the the being enamored with war, you know, that moment that you know you've won. So everything about it is like, it's old consciousness. So I love personally not agreeing to, <laughs> to partake in that. And you know what it's like, you know how you said like 
it's a snoozer. The New Year's a snoozer. Otherwise, it's like it's like the human consciousness is trying to make it such a big, big, exciting event just to mm. compensate for the fact that there's mm. nothing there. There, what, no. The 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 real the real contentment is being in the moment, being in the um, peace and tranquility of the silence and appreciating, connecting with all life in the quiet, not the hoopla. Mm. Which is a really good point that you make is that <laughs> I think you're hundred percent right. Um, part of why a lot of people make such a big deal about the new year is that it is their attempt to compensate for the nothingness, which unfortunately inflicts their life. But you know, what we're here to do at genuine healing is to uh, change that paradigm around so that there is not the nothingness in the 364 days of the year plus 24, you know, 23 hours and 59 minutes, that every minute of the day is as empowering as what some people are trying to create in manufacturing this, you know, moment of the yeah, new year. Exactly. And so there's a lot of people are like dropping out and opting out. And they feel like it's by default, like nobody invited them there. They have nothing they want to do. And then they feel bad about that. They mm. don't realize that they're being gifted by the universe to have this spaciousness, that sacred space. So so instead of the, allowing the emotions to turn it into a negative, embrace it for what it is. Absolutely. So let me quickly round out the conversation about the Stop Habitually Reincarnating Masterclass because we began the conversation on that topic. <clears throat> I'm currently in the process of doing the production work on that masterclass, and we are going to make that available on the Genuine Healing website so that other people can benefit from that masterclass, even though they weren't physically present with us during the live zoom event itself now here's the thing um, we are going to use that masterclass and the recording of that masterclass as a a foundational you know 101 course in around the theme of reincarnation and then we're going to run a whole series of other events that build on top of that and so the way i think about that is Think about this masterclass that we just ran and the recording of it, if you watch the recording of it, as being the lecture in a university course. It provides the foundation, foundational um, concepts, understanding. And then what we're going to be running is a series of tutorials and laboratory work and practical work. Uh, and these are going to be subsequent online events. And here's the thing. Um, in order to participate in the subsequent events, you're going to have to you're going to want to go through um, the foundational bit. Okay, so this is not just a one time event. This really is creating the uh, the building block of pretty much the most important thing that you can do as a human in the whole eternal soul journey. So here's the thing. Like when you're telling me this, I'm I'm listening to what will the listener get from that? Because it's so much structure and so overwhelming. And then I'm realizing that you're formulating this pathway for individuals to go into higher consciousness. I don't even understand it when you tell me that. But I know when I sit down to research a, a master class or whatever you ask me to do to to guide me into what we're going to give to others. The information is profound. It's beyond mm. what my physical understanding of it until I write it. And then it and it's like, oh, yeah, of course, it makes perfect sense. And when the individual receives this information, they wake up to the same kind of aha moment like, oh, yes. Oh, yes, this is what I've been missing. And this is part of my awareness and higher being as a higher being. Mm. One thing we do know in the work that we do is it's one thing to communicate ideas and concepts in language, and we use the English language, for better or for worse. Um, and that's sort of a part of a mental thing. But more importantly is the experience of it. So 
Um, those that were present with us during the Zoom call, they were basically connecting with you in energy, Jen. That was part of the 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 experience is physically being here with us in the moment. And so there is something really important in in actually being on the Zoom call. Well, actually, it's kind of the other way around. I see where people are in energy, and I'm able to connect with them and pull them up in vibration. And and it's overwhelming, and they, there's tears or reactions and everything. But if they sit and are present with that, they're more aware and more comfortable in their own skin every single moment. Yeah. The other part of the experience is... Uh, engaging with us in the practical activities that we go through. So what I was saying earlier about the recording being the the lecture in a university course and then there's going to be a whole bunch of tutorials and, and laboratory work, that is the experiential element of it. And so it's important to go through those things because um, being empowered in the process of, in the reincarnation process, um, requires work and effort. And so we're really putting together a, you know, it's look, it's a lifelong learning endeavor. Yeah. And so it's hard for me to understand what you're saying, what we're doing from a mental concept, but what, what we're doing in an energy way is helping the individual realize that they already have the experiences they need to, to, empower themselves. They don't have to wait for this outer source to save them or to bring them up. They have the experiences, we point them out, we allow them to feel them and and realize how empowered and dynamic they actually already are. Right. Um, and then once that realization is there, then there's there's definitely work to be done uh, that, that's that's what I'm trying to get to here is that um, the material that we're putting together is probably the most profound resource available out there in terms of being conscious through the whole reincarnation process. So uh, it's a call to action to get on board with it because it's pretty profound. Well, look, at a lot of people have an aversion when you say there's work to be done, but how much how much time and effort do people waste taking classes and going to colleges and doing, putting effort into things that never amount to anything? This is directly related to what you take with you when you cross over. Are you going to be afraid when you cross over or are you going to like stand in your own empowerment and like breeze through the experience with joy, love, abundance and freedom? Mm. The thing is, when I say things like there is work to be done, I um, I don't bullshit people. I don't sugarcoat. And so, you know, if if people have the perception that, you know, oh, this is just, you know, automatic, um, I I can't take people down that down that path because it really does then lead to um a wrong perception. That's why, you know, the, I'm just I'm I'm a I'm a truth teller in that sense. Okay, but here's the thing. There is work to be done, but this life is about doing the spiritual work to empower yourselves. Otherwise, there's a there's a couple ways to get to it. One way is to get through it the easy way, as and as much work as you say it is, this is the easy way. Okay. The harder way to get through it is pain and um, frustration and feeling so broken and alone that you're despondent. So you choose, choose while you still have the re the reasoning, rational heart to choose. Hmm. All right. Um, so make, uh, avail yourselves of that resource, uh, Genuine Healing website, just jump onto the Genuine Healing website type in stop habitually reincarnating in the search bar and you'll find it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Let's um, let's shift gears. Um, it is New Year's Day for us and in the Northern Hemisphere, it'll be New Year's, um, uh, or at least in you know, the East Coast of the US, it'll be New Year's Eve, well, New Year's very, fairly soon. We are running a New Year's Day 
um, Group SFT tapping event uh, in the next couple of hours, you have a few hours left to register for that event. Jump onto the Genuine Healing website. Uh, there's an events page. Uh, register for the event um, and uh, tap with us to ring in new consciousness is the name of that event, ringing in new consciousness. Yes, and I'm excited about the tabs that I just researched. I took all night while you're sleeping, babies, to write the tabs that are relevant to assist all of humanity. Instead of sitting back in the armchair and saying, it's hopeless here, we're screwed. Use the intention of who you are to create that possibility in the world for everyone to to transcend. Absolutely. So the tapping event that's coming up in a couple of hours time is geared towards um, ushering into the lived experience of humanity, collective governance for universal empowerment. So there's a lot of conversation at the moment about forces that are anti-democratic, and that's a sort of political divide. Um, we rise above that. We're, um, what, I'm in, what we're interested in is collective governance that enables universal empowerment, and that requires a lifting of consciousness. And so all of the taps that we're going to be doing uh, on the New Year's Day tapping event is geared towards bringing into existence collective governance in higher consciousness. And by the way, Jen, the way that you crafted the taps is very crafty. Can you? Uh, it's it's so subtle and it's so poetic. You've got to tell the listener about it. Well, well, to to be effective in this world as an um avatar we all have the possibility of being an avatar to help others you have to shift out of the vantage point of them versus us you have to so if you're sitting around saying this is the problem this person is evil he needs to go to jail he needs to be indicted he, this that you're trapping yourself in the them versus us mode so what we have done is um engineered these taps to raise above that vantage point and take care of whatever is ailing the governing body of the collective as if it is a body and a system of a physical body. And the, the, there's subtle healing aspects of that too, because as you're healing the governing body of the collective, unbeknownst to you, individually, you're healing your own body. So if you right. have any issues, any arthritis, any diseases, any diagnosis, and you want assistance, be here. Do these tasks, and these will just purge you of, of lower, lower world intentions. Right. So there's a very clever interplay between healing all the ailments of the, um, the governing body of the collective and then uh, the interplay between the physical body and all of the systems of the body being a metaphor for the systems of the collective. It, it's um, it's uh, it was quite quite the thing. Uh, everyone is going to enjoy doing these taps, and it is as much as you can tap along with us in after the fact in the recording. If there is any way that you can be present with us on the Zoom call, please do that. It is at 3 p.m. New York time, January the 1st, New Year's Day, 3 p.m. New York time. Get onto it. Jump onto the Genuine Healing website, uh, simple signing up process. Um, you're not going to regret it. The, the interesting thing is I feel in the last, since the solstice tapping session, the um, Christmas tapping session, the master class, and now this tapping session, I feel a shift in, in both you and I in so many dramatic ways. I don't know. I can't imagine anyone out there who's not following along is not changed from all this work. And and it's going out to change all of the collective and all that we can expect and desire for each other. And the collective, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. But 
but as individuals in the collective, all those you love, your grandchildren, your loved ones, you pull them all up by doing this work. You do. All right. Um, it is the portal of um, New Year's Day. So um, in just playing that theme a little, uh, do you have, let's call them top five tips or top five priority areas that people can lock onto and help them ring in new consciousness and be part of the collective uplifting of all of humanity. Absolutely. And I'm glad you asked me to do this because I, I wouldn't have thought of this. But the first one mm -hmm. is ignore what's going on in the news and in, out in, in the world. Pay attention to the beauty and the, the sweetness and the calm in your own world and put attention there. When you do that, what you're doing is bringing calm, sweetness, and higher consciousness to everyone. So you're gifting everyone in the collective your sweet calm, if that makes sense. Absolutely. So, <laughs> yes, um, turn off the TV, um, either literally or metaphorically, and focus in on your own calm so that that calm radiates to the collective. Brilliant. Brilliant thought process. Number two, please. Use gratitude as a prayer. Instead of asking for things or worrying about things, just simply be present with source. And how you do that is in gratitude. Thank you. Thank you opens up your energy field to receive more. So instead of, and actually by asking, being in need and want, closes your energy field. So if you want to upgrade your prayers, just simply say thank you and then allow yourself to receive instead of just asking for things. Because mm, a lot of people do want, 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 give me, give me, give me, but simple gratitude. At one level, it's one of the easiest things to do. But at another level, for some reason, a lot of people aren't tuned into being able to do that, but um, it's a great skill if you can do that. Great. That's why we make it so simple. Don't worry about anything else but that statement, use gratitude as prayer. So a lot of people will think, well, you know, I don't, you know, I'm outgrowing the concept of this, whatever. I don't know what to believe in anymore. Believe in the gratitude because that's real. 100%. Number three. Um. This is really important. I just saw, saw someone on social media the last 24 hours paying homage to someone who crossed over 30 years ago. And what they don't realize is by bringing up someone from the past like that, not only are they um, chaining themselves to old consciousness, they're also chaining that person that they're supposed to be honoring to the past. How can that person move on in energy to a new state of beingness if someone's always reminding everyone to, to be back here with them. So let go of the past. That's what the song, the um, New Year's song, Old Lang Syne means. May old acquaintances be forgot. I mean, that was profound wisdom. Wow. Quite true. I, thank you for um, connecting the dots. Mm -hmm. All right. Was that number four? No, that was three. Number four, please. Give service. Give of yourself. The whole point of our existence is learn to um, feel comfortable and out phone instead of taken in. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was a kid, I always felt uncomfortable receiving gifts and birthdays and Me stuff too. because it's not, it's not our nature to just take in energy. We need to outflow. And, and a lot of people say they resent humans. They don't want to help humans. But give back your energy to the earth, to this world in some way. Garden and garden with the love and intention of think of the earth and the trees and the plants as conscious beings because they are. And give love to them and support. Feed the birds. Do anything you can that you don't have to compromise and and 
move out of your comfort zone to do just these small little acts like when mm-hmm. the parakeets the the wild parrots on the um on the balcony nag us and call us out like little dupes to feed them and stuff and just like allow that that's so cute that they interact with us that way that's mm-hmm. sacred mm-hmm. i actually think the um the nub of living in higher consciousness is having a focus on outflowing and using your talents to enhance the well-being of the individual the wider community and the environment i don't and 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 so if you can work out what it is in your purpose that you know gives you the greatest capacity for you to outflow in that way to enhance the well-being of the individual the wider community and the environment then you've worked it out and then life is easy so now you stole my thunder for number five. Oh my god i'm sorry number five then quick <laughs> <laughs> you pulled a gen um <laughs> so instead of thinking of instead of like wait waiting for archangel michael to visit you or praying to a god outside of yourself when you walk down the street when you greet an animal when you interact with anyone or anything do it as if you're um interacting with source with god itself because you are and that's if people can catch that one one divine thing and and do it over and over again until you ascribe it to your parasympathetic nervous system meaning it becomes automatic that's when you shift your own consciousness you become the living breathing walking adept because that's what an adept does it uplifts everyone and and greet source in everyone's eyes. Thank you, Jen. Those are our top five tips, if you like. Everyone likes top fives, so that's our top five. Um, Have a great and empowered existence. Thank you for joining us. Please like, share, subscribe. Join us on the Ringing In New Consciousness Tapping event. Look forward to catching you next time, and bye for now. Bye for now, everyone. Please use this resource that we're offering you. This is a gift in itself, and we've worked really hard and put a lot of love into being here for you. So please accept our love. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye for now.